As Surjana, the head girl, was giving a speech and talking about the eagles, you know, there was a song. I have this bad habit of songs running through my head. I don't need a Walkman. Songs just run through my head. So I, I was reminded of a song by a group called ABBA. Now ABBA to the young children here is like Jurassic Park. It's really old. But for those of us who of the 70s and 80s, it is very much alive in our head. And there's a song called uh, The Eagle, Flying High. Flying high like a bird in the sky, like an eagle that flies on the breeze. Have you all heard this song? Very few. I told you it's Jurassic Park music for young children. I very often pass by this road and uh, I have always noticed uh, the facade of wonderful architecture that one gets to see from the road. And uh, I later on came to know it's this wonderful institution. And uh, I had it in mind that before I leave Hyderabad, I must, uh, on request, come and look up the school. So uh, day before when uh, Colonel Khatri came and requested me, I said, OK, you know, what you desire comes true just by itself. I will not take long and bore you. I know these inauguration speeches can be very boring. I've been a very impatient child myself, a mischievous student too. I will just talk on a couple of things. First of all, your school is a wonderful school. It has risen from its colonial and feudal past, from the ashes of its colonial and feudal past as a Jagirdas college. And like a phoenix, it has risen into modern India and independent India. Second point I would like to uh, share with you, today patriotism and nationalism and national spirit are not uh, really cool, as you guys say, as the children say, patriotism is not very cool. Uh, but I can tell you that your school motto, which I heard again just now, is be vigilant, is very much like the motto for the nation and for its armed forces. You have to be vigilant to protect your sovereignty and your integrity as a nation, failing which you can't have a school running, you can't have your economy running. Unless you're vigilant to protect ourselves as a nation, we can't do any of the normal things that we do. So. There is an element of patriotism which is always required. And as far as I am concerned, when I see the national flag, or hear the national anthem, or hear Lata Mangeshkar singing a Mere Vatan Ki Logo, there is a kind of, you know, you get goose pimples and your, your system is totally uh, moved. Your heart and soul is moved. So a certain amount of patriotism is a must. And perhaps as Indians we lack an element of patriotism. As far as the school is concerned, I know only three people from this school whom I have interacted before. One is, I had called on the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Mr. Kiran Kumar Reddy. I had the privilege of meeting him. The second person is because of my association with Polo, the game of Polo. So I know Mr. Siraj Atari, who is the Chief Steward of the uh, Indian Polo Association for the Southern Region. I interacted with him quite a bit in organizing the Hyderabad polo season this year, which was in uh, September. And third person I know is Mr. Chaitanya, who owns the Hyderabad uh, Polo and Riding Club, uh, which is towards Gandhi Pit, and he's a very big polo enthusiast. So that, these are the three school alumni, old boys whom I know, and they're wonderful people, and I'm sure as all of you are. I was forced to write an essay in an essay competition in one of those uh, lit fests like you are having this Eagles Fest. And a usual topic was my ambition in life. I had no ambition that time, to be very clear. And so I sat down for some time. We had one hour to write that essay. 
and uh, I said, I just don't know what to write. I was okay at English. So I said, I'll write the first line and then see what to do. So I wrote, adolescence is synonymous with uncertainty. Because I wanted to be everything. And I'm sure that most of the senior guys uh, and girls here are in a similar position when adolescence will make you full of uncertainty. And you don't know. You want to be this and you want to be that. 